everybody. I hope y'all having a great day. I'm going to share with you guys my favorites and this will be like April and May favorites I guess because I didn't ever get around to filming my April favorites last month. I kept thinking I need to film my April favorites and then I just never did. <laughs> I didn't really have that much stuff to talk about I guess so I was just like eh, I'll save it till this month. And I have some books I've been reading that I'm loving, some fashion stuff, makeup stuff, you know, all the stuff. So I'm just going to start with a couple of books that I've read recently that I love. And I know some of you all are readers too. So one of them, Southern Charm by Tinsley Mortimer. I absolutely love this book. Couldn't put it down. On the back they always have like little reviews on the book. And I think this one like describes it really well. It says Tinsley Mortimer's first book, Southern Charm, is just that. Charming. It's like a mint julep, sweet, sassy, and with a kick. All set in the glittering backdrop of the New York social scene, a modern day fashion fairy tale. I think that describes it well. It's like a southern girl with big city dreams, moves to New York City, and there's all these amazing things that happen, and then there's a lot of like fashion stuff in there, a lot of details, and it's also kind of based on her life, I think. The characters have different names, but she said you write about what you know, and that makes sense. So you might find some things in the book actually familiar. So I think it's cool. There's some things that happen that are not so great, you know, because life isn't always fabulous and wonderful, right? Sometimes stuff gets real and things happen. So it's a little bit of both in there, but it's an amazing book. I got to go to a book release party for this. And Tinsley was there. She's a really, really lovely person. And, you know, she's very nice. And she signed my book. So it was really cool. It was really cool to meet her. And I had a really great time. But I couldn't put the book down. Loved it. So some of you all will too. Especially if you love fashion and all that kind of stuff. Like back behind the scenes of fashion with designers, PR companies, Fashion Week. All that kind of stuff. And then like parties and the social scene, you'll like it. I just finished reading this book right here, The Selection, and at first it was a little slow for me. I was kind of like, eh, I don't know about this, but by the end of the book, like when it ended, I was like, oh no, because I was so into it by the end. So I'm guessing there are going to be other books because I've got to see what's going to happen, so I'll have to read all the books, and this is so good. It's kind of, um, Kind of like The Bachelor a little bit, kind of Hunger Games-ish a little bit without the violence. There's like not the violence, but there's sort of aspects of a mix of those. And I don't know, I really liked it. I've heard, I read on a couple of sites probably a few months ago maybe that this might be a TV show too. So I think it'll be a really good TV show, but I read that one. The other one I read, I actually reread it, is The Queen of Kentucky. And this is by a Kentucky author, and her name is Alicia Whitaker. And this book is so adorable. I think if you're from Kentucky, then you'll love it, especially if you're from a small town, or if you're from a small town anywhere, you can probably relate. It's sort of a coming-of-age tale. They are freshmen in high school, but I had to read it because it was a Kentucky book. But um, sort of the coming-of-age, and homecoming, and cheerleading, and parties, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then still set in a small town. It's sort of trying to find your way, trying to make a name for yourself. And um, there's some mean girls in there. So it's kind of like mean girls set in Kentucky, but there's still a lot of other, you know, cool stuff in there, too. Mean girls are just a part of it. But, you know, there are mean girls in high school, so... They didn't leave that out, but it's definitely a really good book. If you are a teenager, I think you'll like it. You could probably definitely relate to it. Or if you're from Kentucky, you just sort of like that sort of small town tale or, or whatever, I recommend it. I'll put the links to those below, but I really, really like that book. I've read it twice now. So anyway, I love those. So I've also, I've been trying this out this week. This is the New York Color Palette. It's an individual eyes palette in Dark Shadows, and I just saw the Dark Shadows movie too, so that's pretty cool. Kind of coincides. And I didn't know that Dark Shadows was a TV show, but my mom says when she was a kid it was a TV show, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, that's what the palette looks like, and I'm wearing it today. And I'm really liking it so far. I feel like I've tried New York Color eyeshadows in the past and not been so into them. 
but I really like these. I'm kind of picky with the way eyeshadows feel or how they go on. Like, if it's too much work to deal with, I'm like, I'm over it. I don't want to use it. But these went on really, really well, really smoothly, so I'm liking this. I've also been trying this right here. The Sheer Cover Duo Concealer. That was in my Vox box. And I love this stuff because it's really, really lightweight. You can build it up to the coverage you want, which is nice, but mainly it's really lightweight and it's not dry or cakey. A lot of times concealers can be that way, and I have dry skin anyway, so it just makes it look even worse. But this is a really, really nice concealer, and I'm really glad that I was able to try it out. So I love it. Other things I'm loving makeup wise are this mascara. You guys know I love Maybelline mascaras. We have a great relationship, me and Maybelline. <laughs> so I love this. A lot of times I'm not really into volume mascaras, but I love the Volume Express line. And this is the Mega Plush. That's what the brush looks like for it. And I'm wearing it today. It's very, very nice. Not really a lot of like clumping or over volume or anything. It's just a really nice mascara. Normally I just like the lengthening kind of mascaras, but I love Maybelline. They are amazing with mascaras. I've also been trying this powder. I think I showed it in a haul. Hello, camera. <laughs> but I think I showed it in a haul, and it's just the pressed powder. I really love Sonia Kashuk stuff. So I've been trying this and I love it. I also have the loose powder, but I'm not so much a fan of it because it's annoying. Whew, powder everywhere. That little sifter is very annoying, which I mean, I'm sure I could remove it if I needed to somehow, but it's not even worth the effort. But I love the pressed powder. I'm also loving Everlasting Sunshine by Suave. This scent is amazing. I think I read online that it's passion flower and vanilla. And, oh my gosh, it's perfect for summer. Like, I love it. I put it on all the time just because it smells that good to me. So, this is a big lotion. I think it was, like, under $3, like $2.89 or something. And, I mean, it's, it's huge, and it smells amazing. And then I also got the deodorant. I think they have, like, a shampoo or a body wash, too, or something. They have, like, a whole line of this scent, but it smells so good. This is the deodorant of it. I still, I kept the box so I could show you guys because I'm, I'm that obsessed with it. But I'll switch to like clinical protection deodorants in the summer because, you know, I like to stay dry. So this is the Everlasting Sunshine and it does, it smells like sunshine. It's just, it's wonderful. It's like a sweet, warm, just perfect summer scent. So if you see it at Walmart or Target or somewhere, pick it up. Pick it up for sure. Very affordable. I think to you, the deodorant was like four dollars and something, so still not bad, especially for a clinical style. Anyway, let me move to fashion stuff. I've been wearing these Toms a lot lately. I got them kind of in the winter months, but I didn't wear them too much just because they're summer shoes. They're kind of like a little boat shoe with that design. They're called the Stitch Outs because the stitch is out on these. It's kind of got that little border with the stitch on them. And it's a very raw edge to them, so I did take my clear fingernail polish and go all the way around them. But I love them. They have the elastic right here, so it kind of stretches to fit your foot good. And then it's got the little toggle in the back. So I like that. I love the red of it. I love that it's just, you know, a natural burlap. So it'll match so many different things. and. They're very, very comfortable too, so these have become a favorite of mine now that it's summertime. Another thing I'm loving is this hat. I got it at Target. It's like a natural color, and then it's got gold thread in it, so it sparkles. The only design on it is just like the white faux leather ribbon, so it'll match so many different things. This is like $14.99, and um, I love this hat. I don't really have a lot of time to fool with it right now in my favorites video, but you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. I like a big hat when I'm going to be out in the sun because it gives you a lot of protection, and I like that. You know, it covers my head, gives me some shade, and I, I really like that because I'm not really into 
sunburns and all that kind of sun stuff. I don't tan or do any kind of stuff like that. I really just like to be protected. So I love the hat. So my next one is this bag right here. I'm still absolutely in love with just looking at it. I don't know. It just makes me really happy. So it's got to be a favorite. I love that snake print, the cool colors on it. And I just, I think it's so cute. I love that it's so big too. So I love top handle bags, dome shaped bags. So I mean, it's, it's absolutely perfect for me. But it's from Nicole Lee. I got it at TJ Maxx. You may have seen it in a haul, but definitely a favorite right now. My last favorite is my Thomas Sabo bracelet that you guys may remember I got when I was in Toronto last September. And it's a rose quartz bracelet. Rose quartz beaded bracelet. And then it's got the two charms on it. You're my lucky star and then the um, Statue of Liberty. This was like right after the 10 year anniversary of September 11th. So, I was feeling extra patriotic and wanted to get that one. And then You're My Lucky Star I got because it reminded me of my grandpa because I'd always look at the brightest star in the sky when I was a kid and, you know, I think that's, that's my grandpa. That's where he is and if I wanted to talk to him or whatever, then I would just talk to the big star. So, I got that one and um, I've just been wearing a lot more, I guess, the lighter colors for summer, but anyway, I've been loving it more lately. I think I saw online that Thomas Sabo has U.S. shopping now, like online. They used to just have like the two stores in the U.S. and you couldn't shop online, but I think you, I think you can. I might be wrong, but I think you can. If I'm wrong, I'll put it up here. But anyway, I love, love, love it. So those are my favorites. Hope you've enjoyed them. Today you can still enter the giveaway, it's going on, I'll put the link below if you want to enter, it's the last day for it, and I'll try to get the winners up as soon as I can. We are going to be traveling, so we're going to Chicago to do some things, so that will be fun, but I'll try to get them up as soon as I can, don't worry. I know I always get like all kinds of messages as soon as the giveaway ends, like have you announced the winner, or when are you going to announce the winner? Um, I always announce the winner. There's, you don't have to worry about that. I always will make a video and announce the winner. The video title will always say giveaway winner in it. So, you know, don't worry. I will definitely get to the winners as soon as I can. So just be patient. And that's all I have for now. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.